Okay, so we've come back here. Um, we're not going to summon any, any um, help here because it is a bit of a ganker spot. Uh, there are two or three ambushes and everybody knows that you're quite weak at this level. And so sad ass higher level um, invaders hang around there uh, looking to get an easy pale tongue. Um, knowing that they're not getting any any one of any kind of level. And so anyone we summon is going to have a tough time and also we're almost certainly going to get invaded. So we don't need to get invaded. We're just going to wing past. We've already done this section. So send him down. Bring him in. Otherwise he just falls down this ladder and it takes forever to get him. Take out that one. We don't need anyone up here at all. We're just going straight down the ladder. Down here. That's it. We'll pick up our... And honestly... Alright, so we picked up a few fire bombs, and if you come around the side here, uh, there are, remember we picked up the black fire bombs around there. I'm going to go down the bottom and pick up my souls, um, not that there are many of them. Remember down here, there is another, in, another ambush, that guy, and another one here. So we'll go back up because we've already picked up. We want to pick up some stuff inside here, remember? Uh, so now if you are not embered, then you're unlikely to be invaded. So I'm guessing it's unlikely I'm going to be invaded. So we're going to come through here. We've done a lot of this. We'll do it again just to pick up some extra souls. Another guy's going to come up over the top there. Maybe, maybe, is he? Maybe, is he? Is he? Maybe, is he? That guy is. Okay. Other guy's not coming? No, he's not coming. Alright, fair enough. Perhaps he only comes later. Okay. Now we're going to take out the Lothric Knight. Oh! Ah, oh, get out of there. What are you doing? Oh, seriously? Really? Five attacks without any hint of just doing anything at all about your stamina? I think it's a little unreasonable, pal. However, they're designed to be unreasonable. They're Lothric Knights. Oh, we got some pants. Let's put some pants on. Okay. Ants. Look at that, eh? Nice. Well, well worth it. Thank you, Mr. Grouchy. I picked up some nifty strides. Now, we've picked up uh, the sword. No, we haven't. Let's go through and get the sword. We did pick up the shield, didn't we? Yeah, we're wielding the shield. Through here is a sword. So roll through there. Around to the left here some green blossom. We're going to roll straight down there. And in this chest is the Astora straight sword. It's a lovely little straight sword, very similar to the knight straight sword. Um, now we are going to kite these guys from up here. Just like all the shadows around us. Oh yeah, there we go. Little doggy. The great thing about doggies is that they're actually, like, while being immensely annoying, they are really heavily susceptible to... Oh. Now, the problem with doing this is it's a long process because you hit them once and they run all over the place. See? And the way the bow and arrow works in this game, which I think is a little unfair, um, or problematic, it's not as good as Dark Souls 2, 
in the sense that you you can't just you know you have to you have to slowly aim and fire and it takes a bit of time in between shots so we shot that guy in the head uh, we're gonna have to do that lots more times there's quite a few of them yeah yeah do that that's that's a good idea if you do get a headshot, which I just didn't, you can get slightly more. But of course, keep in mind, they're really unlikely. So there's one. And he moves faster than I can. Like, he's literally moving faster than apparently I can swing a bow, which just seems a tad unlikely. Let's take that guy out. Oh. Oh, really? So they should be kind of around. We will be able to eventually, um, just, you know, jump down and fight these bastards. Not f not four of them, not by myself, and not when I've only got a pair of pants. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Like, I really am hitting him, you know? Be reasonable. And they're all kind of hanging around under there, just sort of going, uh, 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 which, is, which is lovely of them. Uh, but it does mean a bit of a pain in the bum. Oh, good. Well, we got him. And... Uh, we might be able to get him. Uh, hit. Turn around at exactly that time. Okay. Well, we can now pretty much just fall on them, but the problem is there's two of them. One of them will hit us while the other one is dying. And you need one more shot on the uh, axe man, and then we can go down and have some fun. Nobody else up there? Alright. Okay, so while we're in here, we can have a look at where we are. Quick, run really fast. Alright, he dead, wrapped in plastic. Let's go get this guy. Pain in the ass though he is. Alright. Did. Okay, so we can pick up a few fun things. He's left a great axe for us, which is mighty nice of him. Doggy. And we've picked up the cell key. Uh, that's something we're going to use almost straight away. Uh, that's very important for a couple of quests in the game. Make sure you roll through here, pick up the Estus Shard, that's of, of vital importance. Roll through here, pick up the Titanite Shard. We've got Estus, we've got our Titanite, the Embers out there, we've done everything upstairs. That's it for this place. Around here, we have a angel halberd warrior dude. Now we were always going to get him with a bow and arrow. Um, you can get him from up here. For some reason, he can't. Well, he might be able to actually get us up here. I don't know. I haven't actually tried. Normally, I sit up on top of that thing. Uh, so let's have a look. You can pretty much always, you know, you've got a good chance of getting him in the head a lot because he's right here. And the thing is, and this is where I think the game, you know, is just, you know, 
That's the thing I was worried about. Can he get me? No, apparently not. I thought he could. Okay, good. He can't. Good. So, you can just, you, you know, you can melee him by getting down there, but again, I'm just wearing pants. Uh, I'd want to be wearing more than pants. Where he is, uh, what's down there is the rapier. Uh, so, for dexterity builds who want to do that, you know, glamorous fencer type build, um, Should be able to get a couple of shots in. There we are. Well, we can drop. We can almost set. I'm going to wait for him to do his attack. Yep. And then we'll drop down on him. Now he's dead. And there's another bad guy lurking. Ambush City. They're big fans of the ambush in Dark Souls 3. So around here, pick up the ember, around this side, pick up the other ember, right there and two embers, that's what that's what is to grab there. Now when we go around the sort of right here, um, we're going to, there's another ambush of course, uh, dude up the top with a crossbow. So you want the flaming crossbow guy, and then behind you down there, Okay, first before we go up that way and open up a gate, we're going to come around to the side and pick up a few little items. The first is the large soul of a deserted corpse. And over here, we've got the Ring of Sacrifice. Now unlike Dark Souls 2, uh, where your Ring of Sacrifice would... Um, uh, how annoying your Ring of Sacrifice in Dark Souls 2 would be something you could fix. Like, you could, you know, you, you can get your Ring of Sacrifice, then you can go and repair it. Um, you can't in this one. So, with these guys, you want to summon them over. They're Lothric Knights. They're annoying. Oh, man. And they move faster than a speeding arrow, as you can see. Sort of, do they? No, they clearly don't, but you know. Get out of there. Okay, let's try that again. Whoop. That's what I was looking for. One of them and stay down you nasty little hey look at that I got gloves I wonder if I can wear them oh yeah well better than not getting gloves I guess and one more all right we're gonna come up here and open up an exit there's an ambush, as there always is. So let's do some of the ambush from here. Okay, that's some of it. That's some of it over there. No, it's not. They all come up over the hill. Alright. Run through. They've all come up. Hop on this. Okay. Oh, maybe I avoided the ambush by killing that guy. It's unlikely. Pick up your throwing knives. Throwing knives are quite useful. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they what they improve with. Okay. Now the boss is down that way. We've been up this way. That's our top bonfire. So if you want to come back down here, um, here's how you do it. Now when we get down here, there is an ambush, and we're hoping. I'm hoping I can just run through a lot of it. No, I can't run through a lot of it.
Alright, I've got one of them. Oh yeah, because he ambles faster than a speeding arrow. Mm, some of the mechanics, do you know what I mean? Seeing as it is a game that you're supposed to work stuff out, it does seem unreasonable to have various actions in the game absolutely defy any possible reasonable laws of physics. Alright, that's enough. We should be able to take out whatever's left by our own self. But there were, you know, there were half a dozen of them. For no reason, just to stop us getting to that. Um, Alright, so now that we've done that, we can come up here. A few green blossoms. Green blossoms improve your stamina usage. Um, which is good. Alright, here's how I recommend doing this. And I'm going to do it because I recommend it. First thing you want to do is drop down here. And then drop down and land on that guy. That's it. Punish him from up there. Now you want to take out your bow. Oh man. And he'll come running over. Perhaps he won't. Perhaps his mate will. And we can do a drop down attack on his mate. Sweet. Okie dokie, Mikey, Mikey. Right, we've taken in a few of those. Let's take out Mr. Swordsman. Hello, Swordsman. Hello, hello, come on, swordsman. Way. Oh, ah oh, man. Ah, oh, really? Fifty feet? How likely is that? Ah oh, man, I am dead. Uh oh. Whoa! 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 Okay, we are stuffed. Wow. When you lose control of things in Dark Souls 3, you really lose control of things in Dark Souls 3. We need help. We need jolly cooperation. Let's get some. When you eat an ember... And we, re we go back to full health. Alright. Mm, what do we want? Oh, let's get a Sunbro. Definitely going to get a Sunbro. That's the Swordsman. Um, the Swordsman is the person that you summoned, that you defeated to get the Uchikatana earlier on. You can now summon him into your game if you want. Uh, I don't think it's particularly strong. I, I, you know, he is particularly strong if you want to do. There's a cheat you can do uh, to access other parts of the game early on. Um, I don't think it's a particularly good cheat, and you know, it lets you kill the dancer, who is the boss up the other end, uh, very early in the game, earlier than you sort of should. Uh, yeah, that's what you want. A nice axe-wielding homicidal maniac, please. I'd like another Sunbro, if at all possible. Because you get a Sunlight Medal if you summon a Sunbro. And I'm a Sunbro. Sunbra. Um, however, we used up way too much Estus fighting those little baddies. So what I, I definitely want the kind of help that's going to do the job for me. Um, unable to summon Phantom. I hate it when that happens. Alright, let's try s some summonable Phantoms. Come on, you useless unables. Don't give me unable. Give me no worries, mate. Um, jolly cooperation is a part of the game. The vagaries of the kinds of people who invade you are also a part of the game. So, it's, yeah, it's definitely frustrating to be invaded when you're in a particularly testy little bit. Um, is there another sunbro? Hello, yeah, I hear you. Oh, soups, that looks great. Let's just wave and say hi. 
Alright, I was trying to wave, but D's nuts keeps getting out of the way. Alright, let's go get up. Let's go take out some bad guys and just see what you like, D's nuts. Um, so there's a couple more Lothric Knights up here. Maybe we'll pick up some clothes. There's one up top here. Is he coming? Is he coming? He's coming. In the fullness of time. I was kind of hoping for my boys. Are they there? No, they're not there. Let's get up here. Let's have some fun. Come on, you know what's up here. You've all been here a million times. This guy's a bastard. He's really hard. Really? No one's going to hit him at all? Gee, thanks, fellas. Refined gem and a titanite shard. Not what I was hoping for, but, you know, it'll do. All right. You run in here. They won't be able to follow me. And we come into what is clearly a chapel. Ah, so while she's talking... Long unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Sup, Emma. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, oh. to oh. their journey homes, converging at the base of this castle. Goodness. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Well, I will. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. Thanks very much, Emma, for the heads up. This farewell gift is for you. Now, she's given it us a banner to plant. of an old covenant. And our first covenant to join. If you fear trespasses, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon sentinels to hunt these foul spirits you can see we now have our first go through, but beware the vile the vile dog of the boreal valley waits for us um we now have our first covenant which we haven't put on yet these guys are the dudes are just waiting before we go in here we're going to put on our Ring of Sacrifice. I've got 6,000 souls. That's about three levels. It's worth hanging on to, and I don't really care about the Ring of Sacrifice. So, here's how they work. You just put it on, and what it means is... I still don't have a hat. Oh, well. It means that if I die, and these guys turn out to be hopeless, and, you know, they may be... Um, get out here wait a minute hold on a sec and just as I reach for the door it's behind you there you can see my my little my dude not looking happy and out of the mists they came a dog in full armor with a mace yeah this is like mega scruff so Fido Who's your pretty boy then? Who's your pretty boy then? Now, Fido, for all his delightful fun glory, um, you need 100% shield because he hits really hard. He also has, like, he does, oh, get out of there, get out of there. Stay behind him. You want to hit him in the bum. He moves around pretty quick. But you get in behind him and you hit him in the bum. That's the way. Now when he's doing that, be behind him. Get out of there. Oh! Round behind him. Round behind him. He'll do a little racy thing. Like he's chasing a ball. There we are. And I completely see it. I think a dog that would have full armor with a mace. Would, how would it not have fun? Once you've taken out that, bow to your friends. And... Hey. Over.
over we go. We pick up a sunlight medal. Uh, because of the decent people who helped us. We've waved goodbye to them. Come through here. And when you come through here, we get to plant our banner. But before we do, we're going to have a little look. Uh, no. Down here. And we'll pull on our binocular oculars and have a little look. And that's where we're going to go. And that's partially where we've come from. So you can see down there. And we've got what looks like a giant cathedral. A mess of some sort down in that kind of goo, which we're definitely going to go through. And over there... Uh, some form of city with lots of crows circling. So pop away our specs because specs are nerdy and raise the banner. Now when we raise our banner here we have this idea of heraldry. Um, the banner itself is a call to colours and in this case it has a pseudo magical effect. When we, once we raise the banner creatures will come and help See? Up they come. Now, it's strange that you think you'd want these things to help. Because they don't look like they would help. They're carrying weird uh, spears and weapons and, you know. But, as it turns out, they do help. They're going to take us over here to the Undead Settlement. Which looks like it's been put together by Muppets. And, you know, to an extent it has. All right. Here we are. So, we're now at the Undead Settlement. A housing complex for zombies. You look over there. Um, you can just see the whole thing has been cobbled together by morons. Uh, slowly stapled with, you know, tissue paper and spit. Uh, so, this is built on top of what used to be here. Grab the large sole. Some people have been dropping signs here for some reason. Don't jump down there. I think that the sign that was just dropped because I heard a whoosh. I think that sign is for a friend. Because if you find obscure places in the game that really aren't near a bonfire or a useful bonfire, then probably that's just two mates wanting to get together. You don't need any support or it's not. there's no boss here. So it's just a matter of winging around to your left. Uh, and we've got dogs. We're going to have dogs. So be ready for dogs. We've got some dogs. Dogs! Pick up the alluring skull. And come through here. This guy is going to ask you to kill him. In a sad, depressive way. <laughs> Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> you can't kill him. You can't help him. This guy, however... Oh, oh then it's true. A champion of Ash as I live and breathe. Very funny looking heads. To be in your presence is a great honour. I Reminds am the of, of Londor. A pilgrim as you can crystal. see only... Somehow I failed to that die kind of as was ordained. You know, but weird perhaps shell. my calling lies elsewhere. Say, champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? But I was underneath once a sorcerer. That. Surely I can be of use. So we're oh, going to accept his service. I am honoured, truly. I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. Okay. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Yol of Londor. So, Yol, none of these other ones can do anything. Yol is going to become very helpful for us. There's a whole quest line surrounding what you do with Yol. The question of Yol. And we will be embarking upon that soon. Um, it actually ends up giving you lots of free levels. And, um and the possibility of buying some dark magic and things of that nature. So, 
It's a very useful little quest line that we will be pursuing. The dogs will kill all of these guys, and then you have to kill the dogs. Remember, every time you hit them once, they fly away, which is just thoroughly annoying. Ah! Oh, uh... Ow! Oh. Oh, come on! There's three of them, unfortunately, so I'm gonna swig an Estus because they're complete pains in the ass. It's probably hanging around behind this. Bloody dog. Right. Good thing to pull the lever, and we're opening up the castle gate. So some of this stuff is still functional. Um, you can see the tree has broken into the castle. The castle stops about there, and then you get dodgy wooden stuff on top. Uh, you probably want to kill that guy, because he'll probably hear you. Maybe. Oh no, he's not going to hear me. Uh, and here we are. And we'll leave it there for...